Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about a wireless network bridge. So what is a wireless network bridge? Well, it is a device which comes in two devices in a pair. So one device will act as a master device, another will act as a slave device. The master device will connect to our main network and then receive the, power, the data and it will transmit the data into a wireless signal. And then the slave device will act as a receiver. It can go all the way up to 2,000, 3,000 meters and receive the wireless signal and then transmit it through an Ethernet cable to an IP device on the other end. So we usually use this setup for our network systems which wants to go over uh, 800 meters which usually is an Ethernet cable uh, maximum distance and we don't want to use fiber optic cables because we have to look for uh, routers or switch device with a small form factor pluggable ports. So this is the easiest way for us to expand the network over a thousand meters and also still keep every transmission in digital signals. Now this right here is our fast cabling wireless network bridge. You can see the outside is a plastic cover which is closed tightly so whenever we deploy these outside these will be rated at least IP65 waterproof. No water, rainwater and dust cannot easily penetrate this shell and compromise our components inside. And also it has a really handy mounting design on the back here which can hold tightly on trees or walls. You can even use like bolts right here. And then in the inside, we have two ports, one that supports e Ethernet, one is Ethernet and power, which is PoE. And then we have a 12 volt direct current port with, and here is a switch, which we switch from the master and slave device. So both of them can act as both, but we have to make sure that we put the one in the right place. And it is really easy. So imagine this cable is connected to our main network and our connection is just like this. And then the power goes in. Then we plug it to an alternating current outlet. And you can see right now the power is through. Although the ethernet is not connected so we don't have any data yet, but it will show once we connect it to a working internet. So this is our fast cabling wireless network bridge. And also these two, once we set it up, these will create a virtual network tunnel, which is only used for these two devices to transmit data between each other. So it is the advantage of this virtual tunnel is there will be no interference from our main network if there is like latencies or but, buffers at our main network, it will not affect our virtual tunnel. So it's really handy for just like simply data transmission. And last but not least, these will run on a very safe 12 volt direct current or you can use a PoE injector, a passive PoE injector working at 24 volts to power these two devices. So this is pretty easy to you know apply to our network system at home. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.